This one might actually be the most challenging thing I've ever done. First bit of sun today, we're- Swan out today! So I'm gonna sit like this, like a complete idiot. On day 14, they changed to one week, so I could have been there one week less. Stuck in a hotel room. This has been hell, but it's over. As you guys probably already know, I'm in prison, not really prison, but I'm in quarantine in New Zealand. It feels like prison because uh, I'm locked up here for 14 days. I can't leave my room. I've left my room once since I got here three days ago. So this is day three. I'm actually starting to feel like these two weeks are gonna be quite heavy. Uh, I've left my room once and I was to go get a COVID test and then come back here and that was only like down the hall so I'm starting to get quite insane. Uh, I've just been in this little room as you see here. I'm gonna walk you through the whole room quite Today, later on, I'm gonna get a blue wristband. A blue wristband gets, gets you access to go outside. And what I mean about going outside is that circle you have around there and you can walk around there for 30 minutes a day if you book a time slot, which is quite absurd. I mean, we do, I do have like a nice view and stuff like that, but that doesn't really change the fact that I'm locked up in a room for 14 days. But this is just how it is, it's COVID, it's nothing, not, not much to do. Uh, yeah, day three, like, as you can see, I got brought my Xbox and I'm playing Fortnite, yeah. I play Fortnite and Call of Duty and stuff like that, so don't hate me. Why is everyone so upset about me? I got like 50 messages on Instagram saying, well, I'm gonna start, stop following you because you, you play Fortnite. We'll play everything, a, a bit of everything, okay. Bathroom in here with a bathtub. I already took like two baths and uh, yeah, here we have a bit of a wardrobe with a bike bag. I'm gonna build a bike up later in the week. Uh, yeah, just clothing set up and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, yeah, bit of room. This is where I keep all my training stuff. I've worked out a lot since I got here. Actually, I'm gonna keep on working out because that's the only thing that is gonna keep me sane, I feel like. But what I have for tools at the moment is uh, three different types of uh, bands, like elastic bands, rubber bands, so I can do some movement training. And uh, these two are actually quite heavy, so I can do a lot of like normal gym training with these, because these are quite heavy actually. Some other resistant bands just to do some leg work, uh, foam roller, foam roller, and a bit of a muscle roller as well. So that is what I have to work with. And then uh, just uh, myself, body weight, a lot of body weight training going on. Like my first workout I did on the first day when I got here. I'm gonna roll that one now. So yeah, that is basically how a workout can look in here. Got a couple more ideas. Uh, today, hopefully, I am gonna get a spinning bike in here, which is a trainer bike and uh, that would be insane to just get some time so I can sit like an hour or two just right here and uh, like play video games or watch something on a computer or the TV. The hotel is trying to help me out to rent one, so uh, yeah. So yeah, Xbox setup right here and the, this one laying. I tried to sit here for a while to just get closer to the screen as well. Uh, then we have some, this is actually my lunch. I'm gonna show you guys what we're eating. This is quite nice. A lot of other hotels from other riders seem like a lot worse, but this is like some sort of coriander beef with rice and some lettuce. Uh, this and then we get these juice boxes that I'm literally just throwing away because there's like 90% sugar in them so I'm gonna drink water. Uh, other than that, 
not much. Got all my vitamins and stuff. Uh, I think it's important to like stay healthy when I'm in here because if I'm not healthy and taking care of myself, I'm gonna end up like a lunatic. So uh, yeah, some protein powders, some different vitamins and stuff like that, uh, just to keep myself healthy and fit. Uh, this is pretty much the whole room. I spend the most amount of time here, I'd say, sitting in here and doing stuff on a computer and then also quite a lot of time on that one. Fun fact actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that yesterday I walked across this room just like this. Well, if I walked 690 times just back and forth, I'm probably already insane, but uh, yeah. This so was one of the things that I spent some time on. So I did one hour work, had one hour walking and then 30 minutes of just movement and uh, stretching. So yeah, we are allowed to do Uber Eats and order stuff to the room. Uh, I haven't, I ordered some juices and protein shakes and stuff like that just to uh, switch it up a little bit because I'm going to drive myself insane if I just drink that for a whole week. So yeah, ordered a protein smoothie, some stuff like that. This one might actually be the most challenging thing I've ever done. Like honestly, this is more mentally draining than going to an event. Almost, not, not really, but this is the amount that we can open a window, that much. So that's the amount of fresh air I get every day. Uh, yeah, it's definitely challenging mentally to say the least. Like this is gonna be a huge challenge for me to get through this two weeks without being crazy, but I I'm sure it's gonna be uh, feel a lot better when I can walk outside and stuff. Thomas Lemoyne, uh, Bern Winkler and T Tim Bringer is actually stationed in this hotel as well, so I can play a bit of video games with them and stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna try to keep uh, positive. I just want socks and stocks. I feel on top to top. Shipping a pop, they pop. So young in my 20s, I celebrate. This one for the dads, let me dedicate. Head of the house like the head of state. Bring home the all right, today is actually day four. Uh, yesterday was a very, very boring end of the day. I literally just played video games, worked out and stuff like that. Uh, but I got a really good workout in. I'm absolutely beat today. My legs and my pecs and my stomach and my back. So pretty much my whole body is completely ruined. So I got sore muscles. I did another COVID test this morning and got the results from my first one, which gave me this one. This is a blue band, which is the band that are get, gonna get you allowed to go out in a circle and walk a bit outside. So, uh, but there wasn't really any like sun hour time slots left. So I'm gonna go out at 7.30 in the evening. Just feel like a circus monkey just walking in a cage, but it's better than nothing. It's good to get go out and get some fresh air. And also this morning they delivered a spin bike to me. Uh, so that's actually a huge plus. So I can literally just, when I watch YouTube videos or when I watch series or whatever, like Netflix, uh, I can just sit on that one and just move a little bit. So I can do some cardio and uh, yeah, feel great. It's gonna be good. I haven't been outside since I left Sweden because obviously I went on planes, airport planes, airport, and then straight onto a bus, straight out of the airport and then just in here. So I haven't been outside since I was in Sweden. It's not that bad to not go outside for a couple of days when you're home, uh, but when you're forced to and you're not able to go outside, that's when it's really hard. So I'm starting to get a bit annoyed. I just wanna get out and uh, yeah. But uh, I'm gonna get on this one now watch some YouTube videos. But I'm just gonna move this one out to the other side of the room so I get some bit of a nice view when I'm pedaling. I actually had to pay a hundred dollars to get this one into my room, uh, but it was definitely worth it because I'm gonna get a lot more exercising in. I've maxed out all angles I can on like making it big, but look how freaking small it is. I feel like an absolute tosser. And look, you hear that sound? So I'm gonna sit like this, like a complete idiot, and just pedal for hours. Another thing that is quite sketch about this bike is just look at this. It's an awful lot of money for a bike that is this crap, but I'm just gonna work with everything I have. If I wanna have some balls left when I'm done with these two weeks of quarantine, I need to fix it. So I called up for some tools, and uh, yeah, got the problem fixed. Uh, managed to get the seat dialed in and now I'm gonna start doing this but I'm gonna hop in with the headset on the Xbox and you can hate as much as you want about me playing Fortnite but I play a lot of other games too. Bring home the cash in the dinner play. I go I zoom accelerate I cannot be bought at some bargain rate I got on my back and my body weight I stay in the crib like a corner. Alright there you see it 
So I got a solid two hours on the bike. My ass is absolutely destroyed after that. It's so painful actually, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to live with it and do that every day, but solid two hours. Like, since my whole body is pretty much destroyed from yesterday and the day and the day before uh, workouts, so I'm gonna keep it quite mellow on the workout today because since I did so much biking, uh, I'm just gonna do 100 push-ups, some rubber band and a lot of movement because I'm stiff everywhere. So uh, yeah, 100 push-ups quick couple rubber band maneuvers and uh, and I feel like if I move a lot my brain is gonna be more sharp as well and I'm not gonna lose it and be bored I'm just gonna try to be productive so I can go to a computer get a lot of work done and uh, stuff like that I think everything is just like everything just goes into a circle if you move a lot you feel great in your body then your mind feels great and then you're productive and then the time passes quicker because you're doing a lot more so I think that's key in this quarantine thing uh, Everything starts with physical work, so. I only do this for like two or three. I'll be down as long as it's true to me. Got records, some records that's new to you. But none of these records is new to me. I used to skip class, I'm to the ring. I watch as a team with a G. All right, so that was 100 push-ups in nine minutes and 16 seconds. I guess this whole video is a bit corny. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just so bored out of my mind. And uh, maybe some of you people that are still watching this video actually care what I'm doing. Probably not, but I'll do it anyways. So. This rubber band is very, very heavy. Just like that. Just to get like, sort of the same one as I do on a bike. Can't believe I'm only on day freaking four and I got 10 more days in here. All right, so today is actually day five. Uh, day four yesterday ended up after that workout with going out for the first time. So yeah, basically walked around there a little bit in the evening and uh, today when I woke up, I booked an earlier time together with Thomas Lemoyne and Tim Bringer. So I got to walk out in the sun for the first time since I got into this hotel room. It's been like, yeah first bit of sun today, we're able to walk outside for 20 minutes at time. We got Thomas Lemoyne and Tim Bringer in the background as well, we booked the same time for today. It's definitely weird coming out because I haven't been out in five days really, for real, and this is Really nice. That was it. Uh, before the walk, I did one hour on the bike, and then now after I just finished up one more hour, so I'm completely sweaty. I'm gonna get a bit of more working out. Two hours on the bike, bit of workout, 30 minute walk. Uh, yeah, I just wanna come out from this quarantine. I feel sharp. I wanna feel like when I go on the course uh, on the next next Tuesday, I wanna feel like that day was a lot more easy than a day in here was because if I'm just gonna slob around and lay on the bed for two weeks I, everything is just gonna feel horrible when I get out so today was day five and uh, it's starting the sun is starting to set and it feels like the day just started so yeah uh, good progress I feel like I'm getting into rhythms and uh, today felt very easy compared to the first couple ones so, so we're on day seven not much have happened did some spin bike, been editing a whole video, I've been editing the Protox episode I did together with Emil. Almost 10 o'clock in the evening. Jet lag is still there, I'm still tired as shit in the evenings, but. All right, just got back from my 30 minute walk. Uh, I was supposed to walk with Thomas Lewine and Tim Bringer, but the hotel screwed up. So now they weren't able to walk and they, that, they haven't been out for over three days now. I've been able to be out every day, but they just been the most unlucky guys ever so yeah that sucks for them this day just flew by as well it's already six o'clock and uh yeah Today is actually day nine. Uh, I just finished up two hours on the trainer bike. Uh, they canceled my walk outside today because it's raining. It's been raining all day long and they said it was too dangerous to walk outside. So, so that will be 48 hours between going out and getting some fresh air. This whole thing is like challenging as it is mentally, but when they screw up like that and tell us it's dangerous to walk in a circle because it's raining, if they just knew what my job is in life, they would be 
yeah, they would feel silly about that decision. But anyways, uh, that I spent two hours on the bike today just to get the blood pumping and move a lot. And uh, now I'm just gonna finish up a little workout. Actually starting to see the light in the end of the tunnel now. Uh, this is very challenging. I'm starting to get real sick of this hotel room. Day nine of just being stuck in this room. Horrible. Today is day 10. Day 11. And I'm about to work out. It's gonna be heavy. Today is day 12, just did another COVID test, so I think that was the fourth or third one over the whole trip. Uh, today I'm gonna build my bike up. I haven't really been riding it since BC, Crankworks, and that's what most of the riders haven't done either. I only did one skate park session at my local back home. I'm gonna change these into these actually, because we're going slope style. When we, get, when we get back home, I'm actually gonna build up another bike with the XTR and some Speed Kings and make it like super nimble, light, and like kind of like a park bike for the winter, run a bit more stiff. So I'm gonna have two bikes over the winter, one for uh, just riding park and riding every day, and then one for slope style and stuff, so. XTR is off, Saint ones are on, gotta be on the safe side for this one. Uh, it's quite a grind in here, like like I feel good, like my bo body feels absolutely amazing. Two weeks off doing nothing else and just take care of my body. I've been doing some thinking, I might do speed and style pump track as well. Because this is the last one of the year, I might as well go all out and just send it with every single category there is. We'll see, we'll see how I feel on the first day of swap style, if I feel good. As long as I'm not too stressed, I think I could pull it off and do all of them. Today's day 13. It's absolutely pouring down rain and I'm about to have my walk outside. Uh, I've been editing, doing a bunch of work on the new Get Sandy Grips. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of new models coming out soon. Tomorrow is my last full day, so I'm just gonna cut to that straight and we're gonna be talking a little bit about this quarantine. It's day 14, last day of quarantine. It's already evening. I've been editing this video that you're watching right now all day long, so the day kind of flew by. Uh, I've been out walking and yeah, I'm so over this place right now. It's gonna be so nice to get out of this place. Go ride some bikes with the locals here at Rotorua. One thing that happened was that the government here in New Zealand changed the quarantine rules to one week. On day 14, it changed to one week. So I could have been there one week less stuck in a hotel room. So I'm quite upset about that. But at the same time, it's over, I'm done even though I could have saved a week of my life and doing something else. But anyways, it was a, this was a huge challenge for me, honestly, like to not get like depressed and just super low. I see this as a victory. Like this has been quite a thing. This has been quite a challenge. I'll tell you that. Like it's not easy to be locked up in a room all by yourself with your thoughts and just like not be able to go do anything or go anywhere. If you watched all the way here, then you're an actual supporter and I love you for that. I'm excited to get out of this place, so next video you're gonna see is gonna be a riding video from Rotorua before we get on course in the next few days, so thank you guys for watching. This has been hell, but it's over and I'm stoked. Peace out.